This is your first time here, right? How about a tour? I'm Hilda, by the way. We're from Astra. This is Mia. We're actually looking for someone who might have been here recently. Zeke from Astra? Can't say I've seen him. There are a lot of new faces around town because of the festival. It's gonna be hard to find him, I'm afraid. But I can tell my friends to keep a lookout for him. The more eyes, the better. Come, follow me. Time no see, Hilda. Theo? Why are you out here without your bodyguard? What if your illness acts up? <coughs> I've been inside for too long. I need some fresh air. Don't worry. I always have my meds with me. You're the heir to Banjis. You can't afford to be so careless. You won't hear the end of it if Mr. Colador finds out. He's been up to his neck with something important lately. Barely even has enough time to see me. Oh, is Mr. Colador busy now? I was actually hoping to get some help from him. <coughs> oh, can I be of any help? Not for me, but for my new friends here from Astra. They're looking for a man called Zeke. By the way, I got attacked by white lightning on the beach. Luckily, my new friends were there to save me. Hello. I'm a friend of Zeke's. He may have been here recently. I'm Theo, a friend of Hilda's. A pleasure to meet you. Theo's dad, Mr. Colador, is the president of Banjus Industries. If anyone here could find Zeke, it'd be him. I'll go talk to my father. If your friend is indeed here, we will find him. Theo, how many times have I told you? You need to inform me before going out, and never alone by yourself. Hurry along back. The doctor's still waiting to do your routine checkup. If everything's fine, you can still go to the festival tonight. Only if the doctor says you're fine. And this is? This is my new friend from Astra. Nice to meet you, President Colador. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Colador. As you can see, I'm very worried about my son's condition. Please look after him when you're together. Father, they saved Hilda from White Lightning. About the bounty you put out earlier. Oh. You defeated White Lightning? <laughs> Young people these days truly surprise me. I don't have the reward with me right now, but don't worry. I'll send my people to contact you later. It can be installed in all types of weapons and analyze combat data on the fly to help you find the opponent's weaknesses. It's a new development. And we're looking for testers. You seem like a good candidate. Father, one more thing. We're actually looking. All right, Theo. That's enough for now. I have some things to attend to. Let's talk again tonight, okay? Yes, Father. Th Hilda, about President Colador. Ah, Mr. Colador is a good person, but he can be quite stern at times. But I guess that's to be expected for someone in his position. Don't worry, Theo will talk to Mr. Colador about finding your friend. 
The Grace Day Festival is tonight. Maybe the one you're looking for will show up there. Speaking of which, what exactly is Grace Day? Well, Bandus began as just a small remote settlement and life was tough. One year, there was a famine caused by pests and attacks from monsters that almost wiped everything out. By some good graces, eventually, a merchant ship stocked with food docked here and saved everyone. That day then became Grace Day. And, as you must have guessed, that merchant is Mr. Colador. Everything we have in Bandus is literally owed to him. It looks like you really worship Mr. Colador. Of course, and there are lots of stories about him. Let me tell you all about them. Wow, it's really late. Time passes so fast. Because you've been talking non-stop. <laughs> I know I tend to get like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, you're still looking for your friend, aren't you? I'll take you to my friends. Come! Hey, Hilda. Long time no see. Hey, Kelly. How's business? Why? You want your old job back? Huh? I thought you don't like me eating the merchandise on the job. I'm not saying you can't have some, but you do have to do your job first. <laughs> Stop giggling like a fool. So, what brings you here today? A small favor. We're looking for someone called Zeke. If you saw him... Sounds like a handsome young man. Could this Zeke be... you know? Huh? No, not at all! I better keep this from Harry, so I don't break his heart. My poor brother. I told you no! And what does Harry have to do with anything? Harry is no kid anymore, so he's in charge of his own shop this year. He should be right below. By himself? That crybaby? You sure that's a good idea? Can't disagree with you there. Well, can you drop by and check on him for me? I'm too busy to go myself. All right. I'll take care of that while you keep an eye out for Zeke. Of course. Here, two fried chicken meals for you. On the house. that really you? Huh? Harry the crybaby? Kelly is worried about you, so she sent me here. Look at you, frowning. What happened? I... I'm not frowning. Nothing happened. Just that there are too many things to do. A new shipment came, but I don't have time to pick it up. There's still a crate of cargo at the port. Are you slacking off again? The shipment came in yesterday. But I can't do it alone. Hilda, <laughs> can you please, please? Hold on right there. I'm not cleaning up after you. No way. Hilda, I can go fetch the cargo, but about Z. Oh, fine. It's a fair deal, and Harry can't complain about me bullying him again. Just drop the cargo off at the front of the store. Hey, crybaby, you better thank us for being so nice. I I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a baby anymore.
Done already? Thank you so much. Piece of cake. Where did Hilda go? Info. Hilda went to the port to respond to a request for help. The helping request was issued by a girl called Anne. <laughs> Anne's balloon got caught on a street light. How long has she been gone? It was just now, about half a minute. You should be able to catch. Why are you upset? I can't seem to reach the balloon up there. You got some moves. Can you help? Leave it to me. Nice to get something lost back. You're quite a kind person. Well, people gotta be kind to each other, right? Crow came to me just now. He said there was a problem with the lights for the celebration, and we needed to call someone to repair them. Lanner? Who's... <laughs> like fireworks, lanterns are part of the festivity. That's the way every year. Everyone's looking forward to it. But to see both, we have to help Crow fix the circuits. <sighs> I was going to take a break, but since this is for celebration, why don't you come too? Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful, Hilda. You found help. <laughs> 